So I had the truck plugged in overnight. Um, and it's showing me we've got 275 miles of range at 90% battery life. So that is not too bad. It's probably the highest I've had it charged since I bought it um, or since I got it. Uh, so had a little hiccup with my home charger, um, which will be a different video, but uh, I've been having to go to Electrify Americas, which actually I have one that's pretty close. Um, so it has not been a huge deal, but today I wanted to do the trip because it's, uh, let me check the, the weather. There is a uh, blizzard going through and it is really cold outside. So it's uh, supposed to be zero degrees today. Um, right now, it is 11 degrees. Eleven degrees. We are in northeast Ohio. We're about to get hit with a winter storm. We're in the midst of a winter storm. It was forty some degrees last night, and it is down to eleven today. So, um, this is gonna reset one of my trips. Uh, however, I do that. Let me see. Trip one. Let's reset this trip. So I got to go to work. I think it's like probably 30 miles into work. We'll see how much mileage I actually lose once the battery gets cooled off by this weather. Then it's going to be sitting in the parking lot um, for however long I'm at work. I don't know if they'll send us home early or what because it's, uh, it is uh, going to be nasty out today. So it should be an interesting ride. Said it was uh, in the 40s in the garage. So 7.34 a.m. Um, and this thing is steadily dropping now that I've gotten outside. Let's close that garage up. I got snow in there. So I got an electric vehicle and I got a big old truck too, a big diesel. So I'm like the polar opposites. But as you can see outside, it is uh, nasty. So this is uh, one of my first videos, but I got a lot of videos I got to shoot with this lightning. Um, as you can see, I do own a horse farm. So we'll be trying to power that barn there, which has my well pump on it with this lightning. They got a little generator hookup for it. so. That should be good. To give you a better idea. It's supposed to have 50, 60 mile an hour winds today. It's really weird driving the lightning. All you hear is the snow crush under the tires. So, you guys see the road conditions. It is uh, <laughs> pretty bad out. I'm gonna see how this thing handles in the snow. Highway conditions. All right, so I just got to work. It's 42 minutes. <clears throat> 42 minutes to work. 19.5 uh, miles. We got 1.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, that's kind of a little surprising. I mean, the cold definitely impacted it, but I mean, we were probably averaging speed maybe 40 miles an hour. So the cold has definitely got an impact on it. Um, you can see climate usage 27%, which is huge. 58% for driving. 4% for accessories, 11 for exterior temp. Um, so our range definitely took a hit. We are at 220 miles. Um, 220 miles at 80%. So it was at 90% and we had 275. So 275 minus 220. You got a 55 miles and we only went 20. So. Uh, that's a 35 mile loss in range um, during this trip. And it's definitely, you know, I had it in the garage and it uh, adjusted to the temperature. Um, we'll see on the way home um, after this thing sits for a while, if I lose any mileage just sitting in the parking lot um, or battery percentage for that matter. Uh, and then see how the drive goes home. I'm anticipating us not losing as many miles 
Uh, we might lose a percent or so when we're sitting in the parking lot, I think. Um, but we'll see. I'll be back. We are at 169 miles after work. Um, we are still at 78% battery though. We were at 80%, so we lost 2% sitting in the parking lot, which isn't terrible. All right, I am home. So, final numbers. We got 97 miles and 53% battery remaining. We went 59.3 miles, two hours, 21 minutes, 54 seconds. Uh, a lot of that's probably because of the traffic or slow moving on the highways because everything's covered in snow. Um, average miles, you got the 1.3 miles per kilowatt. So that's pretty much the worst I've seen since I had it. I have had it less for less than a week. Um, negative three degrees. <laughs> so it is a uh, very cold out. So that's a huge impact on everything. But look at these stats. So biggest thing, 35% climate use so that's the heating and cooling so i mean because of the two hours that number that percentage is uh really high i, I definitely had the heat higher than i needed it i'm sitting here sweating as i talk um i turned the cooled seats on because it was so hot um so i definitely should have turned that down didn't really think about it you know you don't normally in gas vehicles um you don't really think about it driving 45 percent accessories five um Exterior temperature is 14. That's the highest I've seen that too. So, I mean, the temperature is definitely a big factor. Um, I need to keep my heat down. I mean, I've only got it set to 70. Uh, but at one point, I had to defrost down because my windows kept fogging up. Um, kept the heated seats. Other than that, I mean, like I said, the, the standard range battery in cold climates are colder. I mean, I'm in Cleveland. Um, it gets pretty cold and during the winter, not very long. There's probably, what, three months maybe. Gets bad December through February. You know, that's your coldest. And then, you know, November can be hit or miss. And then March can be hit or miss. So, it, not a big factor for me. Um, I think it did better than what a lot of people are saying. Um, I mean, I think in the 20s, 30s, which I'll definitely do another video uh, showing in a, in a normal uh, temperature range I think you'll probably do 1.5 to 1.6 um, that's what I was getting all this week with normal temperatures in the winter time at least that I think I was up at 1.8 at one point and that was uh, storing the car outside I wasn't plugged in at night um, so you know we'll probably see a big difference now that I got my home charger back um, so not too bad definitely lost some range due to the cold but I think that uh, should be assumed i mean at negative three degrees um you're gonna have issues you're you're going to you know lose lose a lot of range so all right um like and subscribe thank you all right guys so i just uh wanted to kind of summarize up what uh what the cold weather drive was uh with the lightning um you know while doing the video it didn't really seem like it was uh that bad um, after going through and looking at all the statistics that that uh, I got out of it um, it was pretty bad so the the cold weather the extreme cold uh, has a huge impact and plugging in the vehicle is a huge deal so I mean if you can plug it in at work while it's sitting outside in the parking lot that's a huge advantage um, even if it didn't even charge uh, so you don't lose um, tons of battery percentage and, and miles. So, I mean, I started off with 275. It's probably skewed a little bit just because it's in my warmer garage. Um, got to work at 220 um, for a 19-mile trip. So, we lost 36 miles just because of range. Um, didn't lose that much battery. Uh, you know, got to, got to work at 80%, so we lost 10% on the way to work and then just sitting um after work was 78 percent i think the big impact was it sitting all day and then trying to drive uh with an extremely cold battery so i mean i started at 78 percent i got home with 53 percent battery life um that's uh that's pretty bad so i mean it was 78 we had uh, 169 miles it said um and we got 
home with 97 miles and 53% battery life. So anyone thinking that they can get by with a standard range uh, lightning, I don't know how the other ones, Teslas or whatever, will work in the cold, but a lightning with a, what is it, 200 and I think it's 240 now, uh, 240, um, you're going to have a hard time. Uh, unless you can plug in at work, um, you know, plug in at home, of course. But if you're thinking about having one of these at an apartment or something and you're going to be using Electrify Americas and things like that with a standard range truck, there is no way that's going to work in cold weather. Just no way. Because you're going to have cold battery all the time. You're not going to have a place to warm, keep the battery warm and charging during the night. Um, and then at work when it's freezing cold, you're going to lose all your, all your, all your battery. Outside of that, I mean, it's getting, you know, in the freezing cold, 1.3 uh, miles per kilowatt hour was my average. So the range should have probably been at the beginning of the day about 170 miles. Um, but even at that, we still lost a, a ton of miles because we only ended up, what was, I was on track to do 150. So still would have been off by 25 or 20 miles, um, even if I put down the average of 1.3. So, I mean... Sitting all day was a huge impact, but uh, yeah, I mean that's a real life test of uh, what we would, what you'd be running into with the Lightning. I mean the thing's great. I still am totally invested in this thing. Um, want to keep testing it out. Want to see some warmer weather, <laughs> not just because I'm, you know, it's been negative two degrees, but just because I want to test this thing out. I got a trip uh, heading to Nashville next weekend. It's supposed to be in the 50s so uh, that should be a good test and I will uh, throw up another video so uh, please like uh, subscribe and uh, share and uh, help me out all right